Platinum's 3776 Century Fountain Pen is highly regarded as one of the best next-level fountain pens fitted with a 14 karat gold nib. The classic cigar-shaped profile, the patented slip-and-seal cap mechanism, and the wide array of nib options available make this pen a choice writing instrument for serious writers. Platinum's flagship fountain pen continues to be offered in new colors and limited editions like this Kumpo limited edition from 2018. Love my Kumpo. So when a new color or limited edition catches your eye, what nib size are you going for? If you're feeling a bit anxious about being asked this question, you might find the following platinum nib size comparison very useful. Ultra Extra Fine, the finest of the fine. If you need to fit a textbook worth of notes on an index card for a test, this is the nib you use. This hair thin line has a significant amount of feedback, so if you prefer smoothness, this nib size is not for you. Extra Fine. One step above Ultra Extra Fine, this nib writes with a precise, even line. Ideal for those who write small and deliberate. Fine. Platinum's fine point is still incredibly thin, but we start to see a bit more of the ink color, as well as a smoother writing experience over the extra fine and ultra extra fine. Soft fine. Not to be confused with the Pilot Falcon Soft Fine, the Platinum Soft Fine nib grade does offer some line variation when gentle pressure is applied to the tines. Not a whole lot, but some. Where some pen manufacturers might label this nib Sumo Flex or some silly thing like that, Platinum maintains that this is not a flex nib to be pushed to the extreme. Medium. Now we start to see some character of the ink and a higher degree of smoothness. This is a great option for general purpose writing, note taking, and journaling. Broad. Now we start to dip our toe into the wet and wild side. If you like a nib that will show off exotic characteristics of ink, like sheen, shading, and shimmer, the Broad is a great option that will give you the smoothness and rich ink flow while still being a reasonable line thickness for most writing applications. Coarse, aka Double Broad. Despite the sound of its name, Coarse is not a rough nib. Quite similar to the Sailor Zoom nib, the course lays down a thicker line the more acutely you hold the nib to the paper surface. A perpendicular angle to the page results in a line similar to the broad point, while a more acute angle will provide a wider line. Music. This triple tined music nib is a beast, providing a rich ink flow and significant line variation. The music nib is a great choice for people looking to practice calligraphy, write journal headers, and show off the depth of ink color. Compared with western nibs, the platinum nibs from Japan run about a size thinner. Here we stack the platinum nib range against the Lamy Safari stainless steel nibs to illustrate the differences. So if you prefer a Lamy Safari in a medium point, you might want to opt for the platinum broad nib. If a western extra fine is more your speed, then you have your pick of Platinum's Fine, or several degrees finer. The trade-off of going finer is the additional feedback, which some writers might characterize as being scratchy. Platinum nibs are not considered to be buttery smooth, but a smoother writing experience can be found in the larger nib grades. So let us know in the comments below which nib size you'll be writing with on your new Platinum 3776 Century Fountain Pen. Like and subscribe to get more helpful how-tos, pen reviews, and demonstrations such as this nib comparison. Hit the notifications bell, bing, to catch us when we go live with pen unboxings.
And as always, thank you for watching and stay inky, my friends. Take care.